Morning everyone, welcome back to my allotment diaries. My name is Emma, these are my allotment diaries. I'd love for you to follow along, subscribe to my channel. Um, I put up all kinds of videos about my allotment plot and my back garden at home. Um, we're in June, so things are really starting to grow. Um, it's another really, really hot day here. Um, I am sweating, like I've literally just walked here and I'm sweating. Um, so I do need to get things um, watered ASAP and also fill up my pond though we are due some rain towards the end of the week so I'm not panicking too much if things can just hold on a little bit longer they'll get some rain so that'd be good I wanted to just show you my pumpkins quickly because they're doing really well on one side and not so well on the other side I don't really know what's going on with them um, but anyway here they are on this side they seem to be doing amazing so these are mini pumpkins they're baby boo and um, Jack be little so they're like tiny tiny little cute pumpkins I've got three planted and they're all doing really well on this side might have something to do with the fact that that is garlic and I think it's warded off these slugs and snails so these have been these have not been attacked at all not one leaf has been bitten and I think it's thanks to the garlic and also I've got some nasturtium here now which I'm hoping will just sort of like um, act as a sacrificial plant so that side is doing really great brilliant this side they just seem really small um they have been attacked a couple of times but i've managed to sort of ward them away a little bit but they're just not getting any bigger so you can see immediately in comparison with the other side this one is tiny I and mean, it's still alive still growing these are runner beans that i've had to whack in because one of them got eaten and this one here again it's just quite small so I'm just wondering if it was the slug attack that just made a massive difference. But anyway, I brought with me two more pumpkins that I've sown and I'm going to sow them on this side, um, the side that's not doing very well, in the hope that maybe they'll get going now better, I don't know. So I'm going to whack those out first. It's funny as well because the side that they're not doing very well in is the side that I put a load of manure and brand new compost on and cardboard. So this is the side that's actually had the better soil. At least I thought that was the case. That side I've done nothing to and they're growing better, so maybe I just shouldn't bother in future. I don't know, all that hard work, for what? might have noticed me then I just I just ripped out the runner beans because they've just been eaten by slugs and snails um, and they're covered in little black flies as well so and I didn't really want them there I want pumpkins up the archway I don't want bloody runner beans um, I've got runner beans over there and at home um, so they're out now I don't know if they're going to be eaten by snails probably but um, one of them might survive always better to plant more than you think you need because one might survive hopefully they'll get going now and they're just like the other side and they go all the way up this archway it'd be really pretty don't ask me why they're not growing and the other ones are i really don't bloody know i'm sure they do it to annoy me sometimes this plot just tests me all the time it's like a test of character constantly my salad bowl uh, my salad uh, will barrel is a complete bloody disaster because i didn't water it for like literally two days in hot weather um everything's bolting and it's all just dying all the lettuce is just wilting and dying. You can see it doesn't look healthy anymore. And then this beetroot here, look, it's trying to bolt. Bolting means that um, it tries to flower and um, it flowers and then it produces seed, which then it, it thinks it's dying basically and it panics and makes a flower. It's not good. It means the plant is under extreme stress and it thinks it's about to die. Um, so I'm just gonna pick that flower off. I can't pick it bloody off. I'm going to have to cut it off in a minute. I can't pick it off. Um, and just hope that I can save them. But I thought my biggest concern with this wheelbarrow would be that it wouldn't have good enough drainage and it would stay too wet. And actually, the biggest problem I've had with it is that I haven't been here to water it and it's all got too dry. So you live and you learn. Anyway, it was a nice idea, but it's just not very practical for an allotment plot when I'm not here every day. I might still get some beetroot. I'll keep watering it now. Hopefully the rain will rescue it a little bit. Stop bolting. 
Blow the panic. Stop panicking, plants. Do you see me panicking? I'm not panicking. Why are you panicking? Everything's going to be all right. Just relax. You know that horrible feeling you get when you think that you've planted stuff too close together and you've grossly misunderestimated um, how big something's going to get? That's exactly what I've done with these cabbages. I don't know if they are cabbages or if they're cauliflower, actually. I can't remember what I've bleeding planted because I didn't label it. But I've got a feeling I've planted them too close together. I don't know if that's going to make, like, be a... Oh, God, sorry. I don't know if it's going to be a problem or not. I don't know. They, they might survive close together like this. Um, they seem quite happy. So I don't know. I mean, they've got a lot of holes in the leaves. I think something's eating them. Some snail or... Oh my goodness, there he is. Look! They're just camping out in here. I don't know if you can see because of the camera, but look, look, here he is. He's just camping out in my blooming... in my blooming cabbage bed or whatever it is. This is the root of all my problems this year. This, right here. Yeah, you heard me. Someone told me that if you throw them, they find their way back to the plot. Um, but hopefully it'll take a few days, so I'm just going to throw him. There, it's gone. There's slugs in there and everything. They're hiding out in here. This is a little party. They found a little party where I haven't seen them. <sighs> oh, you horrible things. Oh, there's a slug there. I don't like slugs. Oh, God, it's a bloody slug. Can you do one? Just sitting in here, are you? You little rats. Can't believe it. You're just chilling out in my bloody cabbage bed. So hungry. I don't have anything. Hello. Hi. 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 Oh, you're so. Yeah. Look, guys, I'm getting braver. I'm stroking a cat. Oh, God. Oh, God. It looks really thin. Ooh. Stop rubbing its head against me. You're right. Someone said when it does that it wants to be stroked, but I'm a bit scared of it. I know it's okay. Oh, okay. Do you think he's sick? Oh god, is it another sick animal that's found me? <laughs> I'm a little bit scared of it when it does that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, see you later. Yeah, I didn't have oh Oh, I did have a can of tuna, but I don't know where it is. Let me have a look for tuna. Hang on. Oh, God. Feeding all the bleeding animals again. Why does this keep happening to me, guys? Why do they keep turning up here? I thought I had some tuna for it when it came back. I must have got hungry and eaten it. Does it eat bird food? No, it can't eat bird food. It's a cat. I ain't got nothing for it. Don't have anything, sorry. Please met these animals. These animals are drawn to me and I'm so bloody scared of them. I don't know what to do with them. I don't know why they keep being so drawn to me. I'm not exactly like warm to them, do you know what I mean? Sweet corn in this bed is doing amazing, um, which I rarely get to say at this plot that anything's doing amazing, but it's doing really well considering it was like flopping over when I planted it in. It's really big now, it's really tall, all of them are just looking amazing, and the ones I planted at home are all germinating really well, so I've got loads more to come in this bed, and they're going to go where the tulips are, 
I do need to get rid of these tulips sooner th rather than later. I think I can probably wait till next week and I'm really hoping they just start to die down because obviously this year the tulips are taking longer because they flowered for longer, they're taking longer to die back. But I really need the space. So if they don't die back by next week, I'm just gonna have to yank them all out because I want this whole bed to be sweet corn basically. They need a bit longer. I really want them to come back next year as well so the best thing to do is to let the green die down to feed the bulb but I just want them gone now I'm just done with them I need sweet corn out here now you need to hurry up and die I never thought I'd say that in my plot but you need to hurry up and die today we'll leave it there because I don't have tons to do I think watering is my number one main job at the moment it's probably yours too um, and picking sweet peas um, whenever they flower because there's just they're just giving me so many this year which is amazing um, so I'll be back again um, maybe this week maybe next week I don't know um, and I'm going to be planting out my sweet corn and also some okra which I've never planted before but I think that will be really interesting <laughs> And I have a collaboration coming up shortly for you. We are going to get filming that soon. Um, so stay tuned for that. And I'll see you in my next vlog, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.